Okay, here's what I got. Plastic fantastic piece of crap from the 1980s. I bring home broken stuff to fix and usually fix or working stuff to tear apart. So I don't know. I'll see what parts this thing has anything good like the transformer. Stereo integrated amplifier SU dash V97. Just your basic uh amplifier with all the controls here, volume, loudness, balance, bass, and treble, speaker selector, that's about it. New class A. Looks like it has a cigarette burn that somebody tried to patch. Got it for 20 bucks. Hooked it up, it worked and everything. I'll never get that out of it, but it's got a nice transformer in there. I'll do a power test on it, see what kind of power it makes. I couldn't find anything on the internet about its output power. Well, here's the inside of it. It has one of these modules, these hybrid things, SVI-2105. Hmm, never heard of it. Must be uh, Panasonic made their own or something, I don't know. That might be a phono stage there. Not much to this thing at all. Eight thousand microfarad, sixty-six volts. Pretty decent size transformer, really. It's kind of this flattened down, so it fits in the case. But it's just a big, almost square shape. So I don't know what this thing was rated. It must be rated. Not, not, I couldn't find anything on eBay or uh, on the internet about what power it is. I couldn't find a data sheet for this thing, which makes me mad. I don't have the patience to look all over the place. And I'll just have to power test it and see what it can do. And that's next. Oh, hey, Snickers. Power test time. I have my non-inductive 8 ohm resistors connected to both channels. Stereo, so we want to get both channels driven. Hooked up the function generator. Used a splitter so we get the signal into both channels. Set the balance to middle point and everything centered. Turn off the loudness. I have a speaker hooked up through a uh, 390 ohm resistor so it doesn't you know really add to the load or get damaged by it or anything and uh, I'm gonna have to come back because I just noticed I don't have a calculator out here and I need that to calculate the power okay got the calculator ready we'll test it I don't know what the frequency is it's probably around 100 120 Hertz or so I don't have an, well I do have an oscilloscope but I'm not using it and my meter I can go up to 400 Hertz and get accurate RMS ratings now I'll bring up the signal until it distorts back it off to its clean and get the uh, the reading about 30.8 I think it said and uh, yeah, both of those dudes got hot so we got signal into both of them boy this thing could put out some serious power let's see here 30.8 and you have to square that divided by the load impedance so it made 118 
0.6 we'll say I'll just say 118 watts into 8 ohm loads both channels driven so this uh, piece of plastic crap is pretty powerful almost a shame I'm going to tear it apart oh well okay so we're all <laughs> pretty powerful chip too bad I can't find the specs on it it's using one of those uh, copper tubes it's got a refrigerant in there and it heats up and vaporizes comes over here condenses and gives off its heat comes back and picks up more in a continuous cycle I just noticed something this meter is pretty accurate that's right about at the clipping point 120 watts just about right on the money look at the difference one watt it takes all of this to get to one watt and then that much more to go to 120 it's just the uh, logarithmic nature of sound and uh, you know whoa there goes the phone I gotta go